Hey guys, it's Frank from PBH, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about starter shims for your modular Ford V8 and Coyote swaps. If you do a generic search for starter shims, you're gonna find a lot of information that is not related directly to the modular Ford V8s. Older V8 engines seem to have more of a need for starter shimming with aftermarket applications and even stock applications. When it came to the modular Ford engine family, the starter motors really weren't an issue. There weren't any real factory misalignments that you had to deal with. This is due to a three bolt design that went directly to the bell housing. Now where you might find yourself having to shim your starter in a modular Ford application, and in this case, speaking directly about coyote swaps, is when we start mixing aftermarket components. Stuff like aftermarket bell housings, starter motors themselves, flywheels, and even flex plates. Any one of those components can throw off the engagement of the starter motor and causing you to have to shim it. Now, when we speak about shimming the starter motor, we're really talking about engagement, and in particular, over engagement of the flywheel or flex plate. The aim of the starter shims from PBH is to give you the ability to then shim the starter back so you don't have an over engagement problem with your setup. The most common application where these shims are gonna be needed is potentially when you're using an adapter bell housing or aftermarket bell housing to get the transmission made into the engine. So in a Coyote swap where a manual transmission is being used, in particular one that wasn't found behind a modular Ford V8 where it has an aluminum bell housing, these aftermarket bell housing adapters and scatter shields are typically what's used to get those transmissions hung behind the Coyote engine. Now it's not guaranteed that you're gonna have an issue every single time, but if for some reason you run into an over engagement issue, these starter shims are exactly what you need to adjust the starter motor properly to make sure you have the proper engagement on your flywheel or even flex plate. In the past, what you've commonly seen to shim a starter in quick haste or to get a job done is just to stack a couple of washers in between the starter motor itself and the bell housing. Now, although that may work, you could end up with a couple of issues. First off, most washers aren't always the same thickness. So if you have one that's a little bit thicker or taller than the other, you could end up misaligning the starter on another axis. Additionally, those shims or those washers are only gonna be mating the starter to the bell housing in those particular areas under the head of each bolt. Basically, 90% of the starter mating surface is gonna be floating about an eighth of an inch away from the bell housing itself. Naturally, that's gonna take away some of the rigidity of the assembly and could cause additional issues. What PBH has designed and manufactured is a modular Ford specific starter shim that carries the same outline as the starter motor itself. Punched out of 5052 aluminum, the starter shims are available in 60 thousandths and 80 thousandths thickness. They're made in the exact shape and design as the entire face of the starter where it engages the bell housing. That way when they're in use, the starter motor is properly fixed to the bell housing making 100% contact with the mating surface and actually acting as a sound deadener on the aftermarket bell housing. Most of the aftermarket adapters, bell housings, and scatter shields are made of steel. So naturally when we put a starter directly to the assembly, it can get a little noisy. The PBH starter shim kit is part number ACC 1064 in our catalog. They retail for $14.99. Each kit comes with one 60,000 shim and one 80,000 shim. You can use them individually or together as needed. The shims are made here in the USA for power by the hour performance and are in stock and ready to ship. Thank you for watching another one of our product video guys. If you have any questions about this product in particular, make sure you post up a comment down below. Also make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button. When you hit the notification button, hit all so you don't miss any of our live broadcasts that we do weekly Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern. If you need any additional information about this product, we'll have a link to it in the description. It's going to take you to our website, pbhperformance.com. Follow us on social media through Facebook and Instagram to keep up with everything Power by the Hour Performance is doing.